Hello fellow Hinkers, my name is Terry Jones and I am going to be doing a demo of a dolphin painting. Um, I'm using a couple products by Dorila, or by Graphics. Uh, one is going to be the Craft Plastic by Graphics and I used the very thin, the 0 0.007 micron or 175 micron Craft Plastic. I love this. This is such a useful piece. I, I use it for a lot of things, but this time I'm using it to actually as the basis of a drawing. And then I'm using the Doralar matte, two-sided matte film for my actual painting. Love the Doralar. You can see through it. It's translucent. And um, the beautiful thing about it is that it um, wipes back to white, which I absolutely adore. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, you know, these are many years ago, I lived on a boat in the Caribbean and these little critters were following us. So these are pictures that I have taken myself and, um, and I give everybody permission to copy them or do whatever. And I also have done a watercolor painting of this little guy. Didn't like the composition of these threes, but I love this little guy coming in. And here's my watercolor um, painting of it. So I'm going more for some of the colors of the watercolor, but I, I am going to really base everything off of this one cropped portion of this piece. So what I've got is I've got a board. And what I've done is I have taken a piece of the craft plastic and I've laid it over it and I've generally just um, done a little sketch to allow me to actually see where my little critter is. Um, what And so what is going to happen as you can see is then you will see a line drawing of, of my my what I intend to paint. And then magic, magic, I put this up with, uh, <laughs> I tape this all together. And what I'm going to do is I will tape both of them at the top so they don't slip too much. So here I'm taping this right at the top and then I will lay my piece, overlay my piece and I will tap tape that to the top too. Now, I am desiring to do this in a five by seven. Um, I'm gonna put it in a five by seven, eight by 10 mat. So, um, but what you can see is you can literally, you can just see um, the design of the whole thing here. Um, and you don't have to draw it on the paper. The negative about drawing anything on the paper when you're using alcohol inks is, um, if you use a Sharpie, the Sharpie will come up with the inks, but um, it leaves smudge lines. Um, and if you try to use a pencil and then pull it off later, um, the pencil will not um, the pencil will not erase because the um, inks actually have a little bit of um, resin in them, so they stop it from it stop it from being able to be erased. So I'm going to take some colors. Um, I'm trying to get my little um, dude going here. So I'm going to take some colors and I'm putting them out in this little palette. So what I want to do is I want, and so that was mushroom. This is slate. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of sepia in here. And I am going to kind of try to blend those together to get the colors I want. I am also going to put one little drop of the blending solution from Ranger into all three of these colors. That extends the time and allows me to get a much softer uh, version going here. So make sure I have a clean brush and I'm going to start with the, um, the purple the eggplant, I think. And so what I want to do is just start getting some of these colors. I'm going to want them to mingle together a bit on the paper. I may actually decide at some point 
to get a little bit of the uh, pitch black in here. But right now, I'm just kind of getting my little dude shape going. And because I have, I'm using the, uh, because I'm, I'm using a little bit of the blending solution in here, this ought to mingle a little better than, than normal. This ought to just, to mingle. And the other thing is no worries, because if we, um, if we end up with two, you know, stuff in areas that we don't want it in, that's okay, because this is alcohol ink, and this is Doralar, and it will clean up to, um, I, I can clean it all up. So my biggest thing that I'm trying to do is to not get the, the lines everywhere. I want it to just kind of do its own little thing here and come up with some really nice bright colors. I may put just a little tiny bit of a of a blue right in this area here. I see that in my in my painting as a little bit of a reflection of a blue there. Um, I'm just softening things up and I probably will come out with black and, and and work a little bit more with the black. I just want a nice fun color that's going to be a little warmer than um, than uh, the painting itself. Uh, I'm going to put the painting itself next to us so we can kind of look at it. I'm trying to get a little bit of that glow happening and I'm just kind of working working through this. Um, I see that he's got a little bit of of, of soft area here and some soft area here. So I'm going to work on that. I still think he needs to be a bluer rather than the green. So here I'm putting in just a little bit of a, an eggplant here. And so I just feel my way through. Um, eventually I'll get to the point where he has enough of a personality that I could stop and say, okay, this might be done for this portion of it. Clean off my brush, maybe get a little bit of um, the mushroom with some blending solution and lay in just a little bit more of a light color in here. I like that lighter color. Whoops, that's too light of a color. So just working back and forth, back and forth. Alcohol inks, it's, they're, they're just a challenge. They're always a challenge of some sort. So um, I'm going to take a tiny bit of pitch black, I think, and go to the very, very, very tip. Um, I've got some actually over here in my palette. So I'm going to just reactivate a little bit of the pitch black. And I want to Come do a few little details right here in the very front. And he's got a little hole right here. So I've got that happening. And I know that I want much more pitch black here in his, in his little thing. Okay, so I'm liking that. Um, but I also see that I going places that I really didn't want to go. So I'm going to grab, uh, this is a, um, this is a, a mixing, they call it a blending pen, but it's got clear, basically blending solution in it. And so what I can do is I can carefully remove some of this in places where I don't want it. This is where, again, Doralar is fabulous because it works back to white. And here was my little edge of where the white was going to come in. And a lot of this down here is actually um, has a little bit of, of color in it. It's This is my my little guy is actually in here. It's just, you see the foam coming over. So I'm working on getting the, the foam starting to work. Okay, and uh, there's a little more happening back here. 
is, uh, you know, you're going to see some splashes back here and you're going to, and there I go. Well, I'm kind of liking him. He's not perfect yet, but that's okay. We're not, this is progress, not perfection. And I'm going to work on his, I don't want this to be this hard. So I literally, I am just going to soften this area right in here. Um, so it can start looking a bit like some foam. And then I can actually end up putting just a little bit of a kind of neutrally some some color in here like there's some little blue stuff happening with the foam and uh, maybe the same thing over here for right now okay so I'm pretty happy with him um, I'll probably do a little more work later I like I, I like the sense of softness in places um, the, the thing I like the least is right here got a little dark, but I can see if I can, again, soften places. And I can take care of some of this. I, I will be splattering a little bit too. So it's not, he's going to have stuff over him. So I'm not that worried about that. Now, the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the water. And I want to do the water first, and then I will do the details around everything. And for the water, I'm going to use three different colors. Um, I'm also going to try to leave some whites, um, and I'm just going to enjoy myself here. Um, so I'm going to take, uh, this is Monsoon. I, I, I like Monsoon. It's kind of a stormy blue, and this is uh, pool, which is very much of a, a light-filled blue. And then I should have some sailboat blue, which is a much lighter blue than the monsoon. And so what I'm going to do is here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start with the monsoon first. It's very dark on this and, you know, and I'm going to try to leave some whites, but I don't have to get too stuck on, on leaving whites. I'm just kind of coming in here and putting some nice darks in this area. And it's pretty dark right around his, his nose. So I'm going to put some darks in the nose. Now, hopefully, if it messes up, it messes up. I don't, I, I'm not worried about perfection at the moment. I am just getting some some different colors down. Okay, so here's some nice more monsoon, and I'm gonna put some more monsoon up in this area. So this is a base. It's not the, the final product. Um, and so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into sail blow blue. And again, I'm going to kind of think of waves. You know, they do have a, a definite motion. Um, there actually is something's flying off of him here. So I can put this in and then I can pull it out later with another color. Um, I could have put this on the back of the paper. Uh, but I want the intensity, hence I'm putting a lot more on the front of the paper because I want the intensity of the color of the water to kind of show through. So thinking of waves, thinking of, of color, um, now what's happening is there's a wave that's coming off of this guy here. And it, he's, it's kind of running uphill. And then it's coming really close in here. Let's see how close we can get it. There we go. We got some, and we've got some splash here. So let's get some of this in here to start looking like splash. And we've got some splash here. And we let, and the underneath his his body is kind of um, has morphed a little bit. So I'm fine with just doing that here. And here's a little more of my, really, that was sailboat blue, that was sailboat blue. Um, so I'm gonna put some more. 
So the whole idea is to just get this to look like water. And as I said before, we have the beauty of um, the beauty of Duralar is that we can get it to look very um, brilliant and clean looking here. And then we can go back and pull it out, pull some whites out. So water is fluid. Water is wavy. It's got some waves here. So I'm liking my guy right now. I think that I want to do something that, that helps bring out the body of him here. So I'm going to do a little bit playing with it here. Okay. And there I go. Now there's two things I need to do. I need to pull out some of these lights. So, and I need to get some of these whites working back in with me. So there is a lot of, of, of motion here. Can you see how you've got these, these things coming? In? So I can come up with, with something like this and then come across here, maybe with something like this, and uh, clean out a little light here, and more light in, in the area here. Let me just work with some of these lines that I have happening. So I can pull out some whites with this, and, um, there's also some real darks with this in, 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 in these shapes. So I might put a shape of a real dark in here to kind of, there's a shape coming in here. There's a shape coming in here and there's, so that you can see that this water just is very much in motion. You know, you might have a, a light area in there. Let me see a little more with more color. See what happens here. He's got some stuff happening. And trying to make everything perfect like you see it on the painting will just drive you crazy. So after a while, you're kind of looking at it and saying, okay, what is working with what I've got going here? What is, what, what, what looks good and what doesn't? And um, there's a lot of, of stuff happening here that I can just like pull out lots of color or lots of white in here. And as you can see, there's a bit of white in there, like there's splashes. And then there's this whole area here. It seems to be, it's, is it blue? Is it white? It's got some, some energy happening here, like there's water falling off of him. And he's got lots of white right around here. Now, the other thing we could have used if we wanted to is we could have used some masking. Graphics makes a fabulous masking. Um, but sometimes when, it, when I'm trying to get stuff that, that is this watery, it's almost easier to use the, uh, to just do the remove. Let's remove what we got here. Let's remove it. Let's, let's work on removing it and, and see how much white you know, I'm, gonna, I'm pulling this off, and it'll eventually pull off to white if I want to. Or I can end up with areas that are like looking like they're, they're flying down off of the, the my guy here. Okay, and there's lots of areas of white also 
in here. So I might start pulling off larger areas of white with the bigger side. I like how they're just kind of the 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 almost in some ways surround them in a really weird shapes, but that's fine. He's gonna, he's gonna come out with more of them, and then there's more up here. And let's put some, got some just stuff happening up here. So I'm trying to make it look watery. And uh, like there's lots and lots and lots of splashes. There's lots and lots and lots of dots. This guy here, you've got lots and lots of little things happening in here. He's splashing, he's watering, he's doing what he's doing. Really liking him at this point. Um, you know, I'm trying to make things soften in places. If I think something's too sharp, there might be much more in the way of, of white happening in here. When, you, when you're using one of these, whether it's a blending pen or, you know, you could use just a, you could use a brush if you don't have a blending pen and you can do the same thing. You're just pulling stuff off with the brush. I usually use a little piece of paper towel and I'll pull them off. So, so let's say I want to pull a little tiny bit there. You know, I can do this. Um, the other fabulous thing I love with the brush is that I can get directional splashes. So I can actually splash here. Come, push, pull it off. And then I have much more organic looking <clears throat> splashes. So if he's splashed if he's splashing, if I want to splash a little bit, maybe here, 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 and here, I might get more, more action. And as I said before, when we do the, we're going to give him more bubbles. See how he just gets more bubbles? Um, so I love the splashing techniques too. And I can use them to make it look much more realistic like there is, is water here. So here I'm going to splash some. And you've got all of this froth happening. And I'm going to splash a little more here. So I can, I can clean up. I can splash. I can go back and forth. I'm liking a whole lot of this. I still need more um, cleaning in places, but I think it's going to work out really well. Um, I'm going to pull a little bit out. Now, you can always also take a... a um, let me get a little more. Let me see what do I got here. I want a, a line of something through here. Maybe not quite that. I want it to be... Kind of whitish, but that's okay. Let's see how that looks. I'm liking that. I want to have a little more lines here, like he's got some some motion, and I really like that motion that happens. He's got this thing happening that looks like because he's literally riding a wave. So I can pull off some more here. So now I've got some really interesting things happening. I, you know, I might want to give him a little more umph in his body here. Go around the splashes. I might want to um, use a little black mar marker, which I thought I'd put here. There it is. I love black Sharpies. Black Sharpies are great to make little... Uh, Here's his blowhole. He's got an interesting face here. So his face comes way, kind of comes way over to there. And then he comes down into here. And then there's a little tiny bit of a, of a, 
ridge there. And then he has a little, 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 so he's got this dark happening under here. And he's got just a tiny dot on his very end of his nose that's going to be white. Um, and he's a little, he's got a little happening here. And he may have just a little bit of froth. So these final details, I mean, you can you can go crazy with them or you can say, well, this is looking pretty good. I'm liking what's happening. I may want um, to do a little more splashes on his back, but I'm pretty much liking a lot of it. So if I splash this way, what happens? And you have to splash and wait. <laughs> because if you keep on splashing, what happens is you just end up with a mess. So at this point, I'm taking my reference photo away. It's not really doing me that much good. I'm putting my painting back down and I'm just refining it and trying to see what, if anything, needs to be either darker so I might need a little more darkness in places right maybe here. Um, I might need a little darker right in the very edge here. I like that darkness here. I like his little circle there. I really would love to get a sense of light. <sighs> right here. He does end up with a little sense of, of light right along this side, like it's catching a little bit of the light. So I'm gonna pull out and just kind of come in just a little bit. And in my picture, it looks as if that sense of light is almost a a greeny look. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to see about giving just a little bit of, of shine to that. I like that shine. I'm going to put a little bit of that right here too. Making him a little more hopefully glowing. And I'm going to work a little bit on getting some more actually feeling like there's some froth happening in here. I like the frothy feel. There's some froth happening there. I take the painting off from underneath of it because sometimes the painting needs more than I'm you know, the painting needs more than the reality, if that makes any sense. Sometimes I need to just see, um, you know, work more toward what is working for the painting itself than actually saying, well, this is the, this is the best, you know, he really does have some splashies coming out of this side that I want to try to get. Sometimes I, you know, you have to do splash. You can just do splashies with little teeny dots and then pull them up. See little. I do like the randomness of splashing. It it seems to work better for me than the little teeny dots, but. Oh, there I go. I like that. That actually worked. So I'm going to leave that because I like it. I like how it looks like he's just got stuff everywhere trying to... He's going back down in. That's what he's doing. So I think, um, with the exception of maybe putting a little bit of a white in it somewhere, possibly, I think I am done. I may take a gel pen and just do a little highlight here and there, but if I do that, it's not very much. It might be there, and it might be a little bit there, 
and I might highlight that and I may end up with just a few dots coming down here but I think he's done I think he's adorable um, and thank you